Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Chicago, Illinois for the Wind City 165. Today, the fictional Piston Cup series will be racing in the streets of Chicago for the first time in Piston Cup history. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Cruz Ramirez in her 4th pole start of 2024 and her Boston teammate, Lightning McQueen. In row 2, Terry Cargas in the Triple Dent Car and Bubble Wheelhouse, last week's winner at Nashville Super Speedway. In row 3, Colin Bargain in the Patriotic Smithy Field slash IHOP car, and Ryan Laney. In row 4, J.D. McPillar and Daniel Suarez. In row 5, Chase Raceline, Phil Tankson. In row 6, Cal Weathers and Bobby Swift. In row 7, H.J. Hollis and Brian Spark. In row 8, Brandon Power car in the Patriotic O'Reilly car and Jackson Storm. In row 9, Ed Trunkan and J.P. Drive. And starting in row 10 is Master Dragon 4000 because in qualifying he wrecked himself entering turn 6. Here's the race format, 5 laps, 11 miles around the 2.2 mile track with a whopping 12 turns. And pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car immediately makes a hard right turn to the pits. Here we go! For the first time in Pissing Cup history through South Columbus Drive, Cruz Ramirez leads the field to the green flag. Immediately through turn one, Cruz Ramirez gets a great start against Lightning McQueen. comes Terry Cargas trying to pass the number 51. Here's Light McQueen making the pass for second place. Here comes Cruz Ramirez exiting East Rovet Road. Now through the long straightaway of South Columbus Drive. Here they come entering turn six. They're halfway through the racetrack, completing lap one. Here comes Cruising Harris trying to enter East Congress Plaza Drive. Oh, we have we have trouble. The, the 33 hit the wall, Ed Truncan. He has collected Jackson Storm, JP Drive, Brandon Power Car, and Master Dragon 4000, which was trying to back up and try to avoid the wreck, but instead he just damaged himself. Here's an onboard with Lightning McQueen. And now back to Cruz Ramirez. Now through East Jackson Drive and turn 12. Cruz Ramirez is going to lead lap 1 once we go through. South Columbus Drive. Alright, here's what happened in the turn 7. So the 33 just hit the wall and then everybody got collected from the back. And Master Dragon 4000 sure is not happy. I feel like it might be Brandon Power Cars Paul just blocking the 41. Well, the 41 7 had history at Sonoma like last month. Cruz Ramirez is leading the field, like McQueen in second place, trying to catch up to the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Oh, we got contact! Brandon Power Car and Master Dragon 4000 is fed up with the number 7, he's trying to get him out of the way. Here we go, entering turn 3. And the 41 has turned the 7 of Brandon Power Car. And we have a caution. They have collected Jackson Storm and JP Drive in the wreck. Oh. 
Master Dragon 4000 is going to try to finish off the number 7. Here they come through South Columbus Drive. I bet Master Dragon 4000's revenge arc has not finished yet. The 7 gets slammed into the tire barrels and the crowd roars. Master Dragon 4000 is definitely going to get parked for that. And the 7 blows up in East Ballo Drive. Alright, we're about to see what just happened. So in turn 5 or 4, the 41 that has been fed up with the number 7 just turned him and then the 84 hit the 7. That's what brought the caution. And here's a replay of when Master Dragon 4000 just slammed the 7. He just took him out like Matt Kenseth did to Joey Logano in the 2015 Martinsville race. That is an ugly onboard hit. Master Dragon 4000 trying to back up again and just hits the wall. We'll be right back since Master Dragon 4000 brings out the first caution of the day. Welcome back to the Wind City 165 from Chicago. We're ready to go back green within a few minutes. Right now, Master Dragon 4000 is going to be pulled over to the pits since he wrecked the number 7 intentionally. And he just made an illegal pit entrance. That's not good. But who cares if he commits something terrible? He is just going to talk to the officials and he's going back to his hauler. Master Dragon 4000 sure has fell off this year. And uh, here's a look at their history with Brandon Power Car and Master Dragon 4000. So here's a look at Master Dragon 4000 versus Brandon Power Car. So in June at Sonoma Raceway, he, he got wrecked by the number 7 and then he's been waiting for a few weeks for revenge so he chose the Chicago street course and then just dumped the number seven directly into turn six okay so we're gonna have to go overtime because we have not completed all four laps and under green since we completed lap one so the rules of overtime if the leader takes the white flag the next flag will end the race so if there's a wreck somewhere around the track the race is over all right the lights are off the pace car so what if they have not reached the white flag if there's a wreck if a wreck happens they're gonna have to line up the cars again and restart with another two lap shootout we're having unlimited attempts Here they come exiting South Columbus Drive. They're about to restart double foul at East Ballo Bobo Drive. <laughs> Cruz Ramirez to the outside, Lake McQueen to the inside. Lake McQueen and Cruz Ramirez are gonna have a little talk. Lake McQueen could be violated for that. Alright, so Master Dragon 4000, Brandon Power Car, and Ed Truncan are out of the race. Ed Truncan uh, pulled over just because in lap 1 he was involved in the pile up in t turn 7. Whatever you do, do not enter through those cones because you could possibly get black flagged, even though the audience is not racing on this track. Alright, so we have 16 cars in the field, so 1 out of 16 drivers could win this race with a 2 lap shootout. It could be Cruz Mears, Lightning McQueen, Colin Bargain, or Terry Cargas. Here we go, the pace car is off the pits, 
They're about to restart through South Columbus Drive. The green flag is back in the air. Overtime restart number one. Here comes Cruz Ramirez with a great start. And Lightning McQueen takes the lead against Cruz Ramirez. And also Terry Targas is hungry for his first win of 2024. Along with Colin Bargain trying to make history. A rookie winning the first Piston Cup race at the streets of Chicago. That would be pretty cool. Here we go, entering through turn four. Hopefully you don't get another incident. Now into turn five and entering South Columbus Drive. Flying McQueen still in the lead. Terry Cargas trying to make it too wide. Now entering East Balbo Drive. H.J. Holis has slammed the wall. J.D. McPillar gets collected as well. We have another caution. They're going to have to restart again. So the 68 forgets to lock up and then slam the tire wall. And J.D. McPillar didn't know how to react. He's supposed to turn left or instead hit the brakes. That is a nasty hit. J.D. McPillar. How is he supposed to react even though there's a car in the left? Anyways, we're hitting the brake since H.J. Polis brings out the second caution of the day. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Wind City 165. Ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car in South Columbus Drive and Lightning McQueen currently leading the field against Cruz Ramirez, Terry Cargas, Colin Bargain, and Phil Tankson. So once they enter turn 6 and exit East Balbo Drive, they're about to restart double foul like last time. Here we go, entering East Balbo Drive, dividing into two by two. We got an update on the other drivers. Jacob McPillar and H.J. Hollis are out of this race since they have a mechanical failure. This day has been crazy so far. Here we go, entering East Congress Plaza Drive. Here we go, entering turn 10. Like McQueen might win this race since he's the strongest car this year. And Cruz Ramirez, she has been a hangover. What's up with her? She is one of the best racers. Here we go, entering East Jackson Drive. And they're about to exit East Jackson Drive once the pace car takes a hard right turn to the pits. The pace car is off to the pits. Here we go with our second attempt of overtime. Through the restart zone. The green flag is back in the air. Cruz Ramirez back with the lead. Now here we go entering turn one. And East Balbo Drive. Now here we go entering turn two. Like McQueen in the lead. Took it away from Cruz Ramirez. Terry Carton gas is fading. Here comes Colin Bargain trying to get a piece of that action. Now here's Lightning McQueen entering turn five. No, that, that was turn four. Now here's turn five. Now through South Columbus Drive, Lightning McQueen has no one to be afraid of right now. I feel like he's just flying out there. Now entering turn six and entering East Balbo Drive for the second time. Now through turn seven. They're about to enter East 
Congress Plaza Drive. Turn 8. There's turn 9. And now there's turn 10. Right there. Now exiting turn 11 and you're going to enter East Jackson Drive. Now through turn 12 and South Columbus Drive. Lightning McQueen is going to be the first person to see the white flag. The white flag is out. The next flag will end the race. Doesn't matter if it's a caution or the checkered flag. If there's a caution, they're about to race back to the line. So once they cross that checkered flag, they're going to be careful whenever there's going to be a wreck or not. We're not sure if there's going to be a wreck. Lightning McQueen still running away with the win. Now here they go entering turn 3 and East Robet Road. There they go entering turn 5. Now through South Columbus Drive for the final time. Once enter turn 6, it's the halfway point of the end of the race. Now through East Balbo Road for the final time. Cruz Ramirez trying to make a pass against her boss Lightning McQueen. Now exiting turn 7 and entering turn 8 and East Congress Plaza Drive. Here's the turn 9 camera. Colin Bargain trying to make a pass but instead his car is pretty slow right now. Now entering turn 11 and East Jackson Drive for the final time. Bruce Ramirez just brushed the wall once she entered turn 11. Now coming out of turn number 12, Lightning McQueen is going to win the first Piston Cup race at Chicago. Now there's that checkered flag. Second place is Bruce Ramirez, third is Colin Bargain, fourth is Phil Tankson, and fifth is Terry Cargas. Congratulations to Lightning McQueen winning the Twin City 165 here at the Chicago Street Course. I was going to call this track Chicago Land, but I kind of missed that track. Here are the official results. Chase Race Law is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we're racing at Pocono for the Tricky Triangle 400 starting on July 10th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific and 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 127, signing out.